All right, so we just got finished with Princess Peach Showtime, which is Princess Peach's either, this is the first Princess Peach standalone game apart from Mario, uh, the Mario titles. Either this is the first one or the first one that I can remember. Because I want to say there there was one on Super Nintendo, but I could be I was I could be completely wrong. But I do think they had a Princess Peach standalone game before. But um, this was a fairly simple game. I, I mean, obviously it's meant it's meant for like you know teenagers and younger, or basically for everyone. I don't know who pays pays attention to ERS, ERSB ratings anymore, but. It's a, it's a relatively fun game. The game is about Princess Peach. She's on Theater Island, which I don't remember the name of the damn thing. It's been forever since I played the beginning of it. But basically, it's an island that has this giant castle-like theater, right? And there's these characters called Sparklers that are the heads of different plays. Now, you have various plays that Princess Peach takes part in or stages where she's a cowgirl, she's a baker, She's uh, a ninja. She's a kung fu master. She has one where she's a musketeer. Um, and various other ones. A mermaid. Uh, she has one where she's a figure skater. One where she's a inspector. One where she's a lupin or a thief. And um, and a couple others that's, that's, that is, that's not coming to me. But she plays through all of these stages in order to save the theater from Madame Grape, who has gone out her way to steal the sparklers, who are the heads of these plays, and trap them in her dimensions. So you have to set them free and basically beat Madame Grape in order to get the theater back up and running. So the game is fairly simple. I mean, there's not they're not going to make any of these uh, stages hard. I would say the most challenging ones would have been the the thief ones. I would say that the thief the thief ones were probably my most challenging. Um, that and, and the figure skating, you know. So that, those two were a lot. the The superhero one, which is the one you're seeing in this picture, those are pretty cool. I like the concept of that. I also like the. Uh, also like her, her uh, cowgirl stages as well. And as you're playing through these stages, you have to find these uh, these sparkle gems, which once you there's five different floors in the in the theater castle, and once you beat the four stages on one floor, a boss door opens up, and then you have to spend a certain amount of uh, sparkle gems that you collect throughout the stages in order to unlock the the boss door. So, but there's also a basement at the bottom. And once you complete all the the acts for that, all of the stages for that particular act, for example, once you beat all of the figure skating stages, then you get, uh, there's a basement where the, where the theater sparklers are being held captive at. And in order to unlock those stages where the, where they're at, you have to complete all the stages in that act. So, for example, once you beat all the figure skating stages, then you'll get the then you'll get you'll gain access to the to the figure skating sparkler stage. Once you beat all the kung fu stages, you'll you'll gain access to the kung fu sparkler stage, and and so on. Um, there's coins that you can use to customize Peach as you play the games. You can buy different dresses. They don't really seem to make any difference or really add anything to the game it's, it's just something extra that they gave you but um you know it's there <laughs> you know like they don't give her any special powers it just, it just gives her a different look it's purely cosmetic from what i can tell uh and yeah like the boss stages are pretty simple they're not difficult at all um you know it seems like a pretty fun game that a uh, you know, like maybe like a kid can enjoy, like a little girl might like, you know. Um, but outside of that, it, it's a fairly simple game. I wasn't expecting much from it, but it is cool to see Princess Peach have her own standalone game. Um, that was cool. 
So, um, you know, like it's, like I said, like it's just a fairly decent game. You can't come into this expecting like such a a big challenge. It's 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 just going to be like an okay game. You know, it's just an okay game. Um, not really much you can really say to that. They did what they were supposed to do with a game like this, and I'll and and I'll just give them that credit. They did what they were supposed to do with a game like this. So that's that's basically my opinion about the game. It's fun for what it is. Um, if you play it again, don't expect too much from it, but it's cool. It's cool. So I would like to see the I would, I would like to see Nintendo do more with Princess Peach. You know, in our own standalone titles, maybe give her like an actual, you know, platform game like Mario uh, has, you know, just to see her character in different, you know, saying different avenues where she's not always being rescued. I know that's like the typical thing, you know, the princess get captured, you know, Mario has to come save her, but that has been played out for so long. I would just like to see them do more with Peach and Daisy and you know, e even more uh, more games with like Toad. Like maybe there's a, a game where maybe Mario gets captured because Bowser's so upset he keeps falling the plans. He captures Mario, then it's up to Princess Peach to go out her way to you know to capture. She has a team up with Yoshi, and you know, and her and Daisy might team up. Maybe Mario and Luigi get captured. You know what I'm saying? Like, and they can go against Wario and Waluigi, et cetera, et cetera. Like, I think that'd be something cool. You know, just to change things up a little bit, you know, because how many Mario games can we have where it's basically just the same thing? You know, I understand Mario is a classic, but you know what I'm saying? We got to switch it up somehow. Like, they did good with the Odyssey games and Mario Galaxy and Sunshine and all that. But, you know, they have to give us a different premise with these games. But I do like this. The aesthetic alone, I, I like this. So let's see what the ending has. Developed by Good Feel. So I don't know if there's any. I'm trying to see if there's anything else that we're going to get. Um, I did not get all of the sparkle gems because a lot of these stages do require like uh, some of these stages require, well most of them require uh, trial and error more so than other ones so you're going to have to replay them in order to you know, catch on where things are you know, because some of the gems in the stages are hidden there's areas like you have to pay attention to the floor where there's little spotlights that are up here and they'll take you to a secret room to where you can get like a hidden gem and things like that so you know there there is trial and error with this game oh, take a picture with everybody a special dress is now available is now on sale. Talk to the shopkeep. You can decorate the theater now. Talk to the new shopkeep to learn more. You can now take on hide and seek challenge. Talk with Ninja Sparkler for details. You can now take on boss challenges. Uh -huh. None of this stuff I care about. I just wanted to beat the main game. That's it. This is a game I should have finished like a few months back. But you know, life. But let's check out, see what this new special dress is supposed to be. Let's see what this new special dress is supposed to be. You must have read my letter. Everyone here wants to see more of your performances. Would you perform for us in the Sparkle Theater again? You already thank you. There's more we can do here. Let's look around together. You even got post gameplay. I figured they'd let you replay the stages. Peach, over here. Okay, let's see. Peach, welcome. I'm so relieved that Grape is going. Words cannot express my gratitude, but I trouble you with one more thing. You see, I like to use the power of Sparkle Gems to decorate the theater, which helped me decorate it to delight new visitors. 
I don't even know what, what they got. Oh. Well, some of this stuff look cool. So that's for different floors. It's not for the same floor. Let's check out, see what this uh this fit's supposed to be. She actually got a special dress. A sparkle dress? These don't really do anything. Yeah, they still don't really do nothing. Sparkle ribbons. Like, I thought it had, like, maybe some special significance or something like that. They don't. Unless... significant one last thing I do want to try let's go back up to the top floor because I want to see if a boss door opened up up there nope nothing stages that you could participate in other than that I'm I'm pretty satisfied with, with the experience of the game so ladies and gentlemen that was the end of Princess Peach Showtime I think her first standalone game ever if I can remember as far as I can remember and it was cool so thank you guys for watching Peace, and I will see you guys next time for more gameplays. Until then, ADS Play 101, I bid you adieu.